Hi everyone. This video is about the connection between electricity and magnetism, the so-called electromagnetism. The so-called Ørsted experiment can be used to show this connection experimentally. To do this, you place a compass under a power cable in such a way that the compass needle is aligned parallel to the power cable. As long as no current flows through the power cable, the compass needle points towards the two poles of the earth. However, if you turn up the voltage of the power supply unit, electric current flows through the power cable. The compass needle is now aligned perpendicular to the power cable. In addition, it can be shown that the higher the voltage on the power supply unit and thus the current, the more the compass needle is influenced. Let's go in the animation to imagine how the compass deflection occurs. Also here it is shown that the compass needle aligns itself perpendicularly to the power cable as soon as current flows through the power cable. Let's take a look inside the power cable. A power cable is made of many, many atoms. We are only interested in specific electrons in the power cable. As long as the voltage at the power supply is zero, no current flows. If you turn up the voltage, the electrons start to flow towards the positive pole of the power supply. The higher the voltage, the faster the electrons flow and the more the compass needle is influenced. It is important to note that the electrons in this case are oversimplified. The electrons drawn as small spheres are used here to show the number of electrons that pass through the transparent part of the power cable in a given time. The reason the compass needle is affected is a magnetic field that forms around the power cable as the electrons move. This magnetic field is stronger the faster the electrons move in the power cable. For a small area very close to the power cable, the magnetic field is stronger than the Earth's magnetic field at that point. Therefore, the compass needle is deflected according to the magnetic field around the power cable. It is important for further understanding that we can show at this point that the origin of magnetism lies with the electrons. Moving electrons create a magnetic field.